Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Vesey from PC Cleric. I uh, just wanted to uh, do a quick video here, a quick uh, word tip that I think everybody can use because I think the following has happened to everybody at one point or another. You start typing, you open up Word, you start typing. Uh, maybe you go to hit the tab key, but you hit the caps lock key, you don't notice. And so you just keep typing, 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 and when you look up at the screen, now uh, you see something like this, right? Uh, you type the whole thing in all caps. Okay, you can see the first paragraph says, I typed this paragraph in all caps because I was not paying attention to what I was doing. How am I going to fix this without having to retype the whole thing? And uh, then I have the preamble to the Constitution here, D, F, E, N, C, E. There we go, change that little misspelling there. Uh, but everything's in caps, so how am I going to fix this? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to select all of the text in our document or all of the text that is uppercase in our document. Uh, there's several ways to do that. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that, but the quickest and easiest way to select all the text in your document is in your home tab. If you just go to select on the right hand side under the editing group and select all. Alright, now if you really get in the habit of using these little tooltip things here, uh, you can see that the keyboard shortcut for this is control A. Okay, you hold the control key down and you select A. Alright, so I uh, clicked on select all, it selected all the text, all the text is blue now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to hit the F3 key. All right, if you're not familiar with your keyboard, I've kind of keyed up a little PowerPoint uh, thing here. All right, this is your shift button down here. Your F3 key is the top row of keys. That are that's uh, the one key we need to worry about is F3. It's shaded in orange, as is the shift key. Whenever you see this plus sign here, it means you're going to hold this key down and press this key. All right, a lot of people think you got to hold the shift, the plus key, and the F3 key all at the same time. That's not it. I've even had some people think you need to hold the shift key down, the plus symbol, the F key, and the 3 key. Not it. All right, you just have to hold the F3 key and the shift key. You hold the shift key down first, and then you press F3. And we're going to see what happens in a minute. Let me get back to my Word document here. There we go. So if I hold the shift key down and press F3, it turns it all into lowercase. If I hold the shift key down and press F3 again, it capitalizes the first word of every sentence. All right, now there might be some cleanup work I have to do, like I have to, uh, that letter I, there we go. And that letter I, and I can use the, 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 the spell check feature to go through these things one by one if I don't want to, uh, you know, do it manually. I can review, here we go, is it here? Yep, spelling and grammar, right there, just click that. And I can say, yeah, change them all, America, change it, and I'm done. Alright, but that's the really cool thing uh, about Word. A lot of people type things in all caps, they think they gotta go, they got to... Uh, delete it all and type again. Nope. All you got to do is shift F3 after you select all of your text and you're good to go. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut here to select all the text and the keyboard shortcut is control A and I know this because when I went to select all it gave me the keyboard shortcut and I'm going to hit shift F3 again after I get down there. Here we go. Shift F3 and it turns it back into all uppercase. So it cycles through. All right, if I start with all uppercase, press Shift F3, it's all lowercase. If I hit Shift F3 again, it's going to capitalize the first word in every uh, sentence. It's going to capitalize the first letter in the first word of every sentence. All right, I didn't do that in We the People. Hmm, I wonder why. No, oh, well, let's figure it out. I maybe didn't see that as the beginning of a sentence or anything like that. And then if I want to go to, if I want to use the spelling check, 
I just hit F7, that's another keyboard shortcut, and then I can go through and make all my changes as appropriate. All right, again, another helpful office tip. My name is Adam Vizi, owner-operator of PC Cleric. I hope you enjoyed watching my video, and I hope you learned something today. Thank you very much.